Today we are going to learn what the linear factorization theorem is. In the video before last, we found that x to the fourth plus 6x cubed plus 12x squared plus 8x equals 0 has the solutions 0 and negative 2, where the negative 2s are repeated zeros with multiplicity 3. Recall that the polynomial can be factored as x minus 0 in parentheses times x plus 2 in parentheses times x plus 2 times x plus 2. This is exactly what the linear factorization theorem states. It states that an nth degree polynomial can be expressed as the product of n linear factors. Recall that these are the zeros. Finding the zeros of a polynomial function is very common in many math courses. With the knowledge of the linear factorization theorem, we can reverse the process and find the polynomial function when the zeros are given. Let's use the zeros from this example to see that we get this polynomial when the zeros are given. So let's say the zeros 0 and the repeated zeros negative 2 with multiplicity 3 are given. How can we find the polynomial function which has these four zeros? The linear factorization for a fourth degree polynomial looks like this. x minus the first zero in parentheses times x minus the second zero times x minus the third zero times x minus the fourth zero. Now we are going to plug in the given zeros. So we get x minus zero, x minus negative two, x minus negative two, and x minus negative two. So we get x minus zero in parentheses times x plus two in parentheses times x plus two times x plus two x times x is x squared, x times 2 is 2x, negative 0 times x is negative 0, and negative 0 times 2 is negative 0. Don't forget the parentheses here. We call that a plus b in parentheses squared is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So we get x squared plus 4x plus 4. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times 4x is 4x cubed. x squared times 4 is 4x squared. 2x times x squared is 2x cubed. 2x times 4x is 8x squared. And 2x times 4 is 8x. So we get x to the fourth plus 6x cubed plus 12x squared plus 8x. So we found the function f of x equals x to the fourth plus 6x cubed plus 12x squared plus 8x when the zeros 0, negative 2 with the multiplicity 3 are given. Let's do one more example and let's say we have been given the zeros x1 equals 4, x2 equals 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 and x3 equals 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. 
How can we find the polynomial function which has these three zeros? I really encourage you to pause the video and try this on your own. This is a very good exercise. The linear factorization for a third degree polynomial looks like this. x minus the first zero in parentheses times x minus the second zero in parentheses times x minus the third zero in parentheses. Now we are going to plug in the given zeros. So we get x minus 4, x minus 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2, and x minus 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So we get x minus 4 times x squared minus 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 times x minus 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 times x plus 1 minus 5 over 4. Recall that a plus b in parentheses times a minus b in parentheses equals a squared minus b squared. So 1 squared is 1 and the square root of 5 squared is 5. A negative times a negative is a positive and 2 times 2 is 4. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2 and negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 times x is negative x. The negative of the square root of 5 and the square root of 5 cancel each other out. 1 minus 5 is negative 4 and negative 4 divided by 4 is negative 1. x times x squared is x cubed x times negative x is negative x squared x times negative 1 is negative x negative 4 times x squared is negative 4x squared negative 4 times negative x is 4x and negative 4 times negative 1 is 4 so we get x cubed minus 5x squared plus 3x plus 4. So we found the function x cubed minus 5x squared plus 3x plus 4. When the zeros 4, 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 and 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 are given. If you like my videos, like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy learning everyone.